The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, Amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your Heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Meron po akong ikikwento sa inyo. Minsan po, may, nagkaroon kami ng isang celebration sa aming bahay nung maliit pa po ako. And dahil maraming bisita, ang aking nanay sobrang busy, busy, busy sa pag-entertain ng mga bisita, sa mga handa niya. Hindi namin napansin na nawawala na pala yung kapatid kong isa. Yung pang-apat namin, lima po kami magkakapatid na puro lalaki. Yung pang-apat nawawala na. And when my mother noticed na nawawala na yung isang anak niya, she was really, you know, stressed out. Na hindi niya alam kung ano yung gagawin niya. At nung nakita niyang kulang yung kanyang mga anak, talagang hinalughog niya yung buong bahay to look for her son. And it was that moment na nakita ko yung isang, alam mo yung nagmamahal, talagang hindi mapakali. Hindi makakampante hanggat di niya nakikita yung minamahal niya. And while my mother was looking for my brother, she was really crying. Kahit kitang-kita ko yun sa image ko, hanggang ngayon hindi mawawala sa image ko. Nawawala yung anak niya eh. Hindi ko yata pwedeng sabihin na, Ma, di ma naman kami. <laughs> May apat pa kung nawala yung isa. <laughs> hindi yata pwede, no? Eh kasi nagmamahal yung, yung nanay ko sa kanyang anak eh. Kaya nga sobrang stress na stress siya. Nagkahanap ng kanyang nawawalang anak. Buti na lang, yung kapatid ko pala ay sumama sa isang bisita. May pinuntahan lang na, na lugar. Eh nung bumalik, sobrang saya nung nanay ko. Yung kanyang luha, nung una ay eh, pag-aalala, napalitan ng luha ng tuwa at saya nung nakita niya muli ang kanyang ina ay yung kanyang anak. Kayo po ba ay nawala na? Nakaranas na po ba kayo ng minsan na kayo ay nawala? I'm asking you that because in our gospel today, it talks about the lost sheep. And we could only understand the story or the parable of the lost sheep in the parlance of love. Kasi kung hindi ito tungkol sa pag-ibig, eh, hindi natin talaga may iintindihan ito. Kasi kung tutuusin, ano, parang wrong logic yata yung kung meron kang isang daang tupa, nawawala yung isa, iiwanan mo yung 99 para hanapin yung isa? Eh baka pag hinanap mo yun, mawala lalo yung 99, hindi eh, lalong nawalan ka. Eh, di ba? Hindi parang hindi practical. Because this story is not about practicality. It is about love of God for us. Sabi ng isang saint, I think it was Saint Catherine of Siena, sabi niya, the Lord, our God, is pazzo d'amore, pazzo d'amore, crazy in love for his sons and daughters. Crazy in love na kapag ka nawala, eh hahanapin. Hindi pwedeng hindi hanapin. Parang yung nanay ko nung nakanya, pansin na wala yung kanyang anak, talagang hinalugog ang buong bahay. Hanap lang kanyang anak. Eh, minamahal eh. Ang ating Diyos ganun. Hahalugugin ang kasuluk-sulukan ng mundo. Mahanap ka lamang. Kasi mahal ka. Oh, ganun yung kwento niya. And this, this is the good news for all of us. Bakit? 
Bakit ito magandang balita sa ating lahat? Eh kasi, to be honest, tayo ang nawawala. That is one thing that we recognize as we celebrate the season of Advent. We see that in the season of Advent, we know that we have a God that is coming. Why is He, why is he coming? To save us because we are lost. Because we are lost. Kaya magandang balita yon sa ating lahat. Na ang ating Diyos hindi titigil sa paghahanap sa atin. Tayo na nawawala. In what way could we be lost, my dear brothers and sisters? Paano ba tayo nawawala? Could I invite you to, to take reference on the images of the lost in our Gospels. Tatlong images po ang makikita natin sa Gospels natin of, of, of the lost. Ano yung mga images na yun? There is that image of the coin that is lost. There is that lost sheep yung narinig natin sa Gospel natin ngayon. And there is that prodigal son who was referred to, to, to by the father that of, as a lost son that was found. Na anong ibig sabihin ng tatlong images na yon sa atin? Those three images could be us. And those are us when we are lost. We are lost like the lost coin when kapag ka nawawala tayo at hindi natin alam na tayo ay nawawala. Parang yung coin. Yung coin insensitive, hindi nagsasalita. Hindi niya alam na nawawala siya. Inanimate. Ika nga. Pinsan merong ganun. Na nawawala sa landas ng Diyos at hindi niya alam na siya ay nawawala. May pagkakataon actually na tayo minsan ganun. Nawawala tayo at hindi natin alam na tayo ay nawawala. Is there hope for that? Yes. If that is us, then our gospel today tells you, tells us, God is searching for you because He loves you. We are lost like the lost sheep kapag ka nawawala tayo at alam nating nawawala tayo. At dahil alam nating nawawala tayo, humihingi tayo ng tulog. Alam nyo, kapag ka siguro naligaw ang isang tupa at alam niyang he is in danger, hindi siguro titigil yung tupa sa pagblit o sa pagsigaw ng kanya o pag, pagtunog. Ano? Humihingi kung baga ng tulong. And that is who we are. In the season of Advent, that is what we recognize. Kaya sinasabi ko, in the season of Advent, we ask for help. We call for help. And that is why we sing, O come, O come, Emmanuel. We are pleading that God will help us. Like the lost sheep, continuously bleating. Help, help, help. And the good news is, God is searching for you. If that is who we are when we are lost. We could also be like the lost son, the prodigal son na kung nawala tayo, kasi ginusto nating mawala tayo. May pagkakataong ginusto nating lumayo sa Diyos. May pagkakataong ginusto nating sumuway sa, sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. Like the lost son, the prodigal son. Is there hope for us if we are like that? The gospel today tells us, yes. God is searching for you. Because of that, Pazzo d'amore, God is crazy in love of you. And He will continue to search for you wherever you are. Whether you are the lost coin, the lost sheep, or the lost son. And you know, my dear brothers and sisters, the more joyful news of that is this. 
Whenever God is looking for us, and He's able to find us, kahit ano man dun, anong klaseng pagkawala mang nararanasan natin. Isa lamang ang nararamdaman ng Diyos. Hindi siya nagagaling sa atin. Bagamat, He is so joyful when He finds us. No wonder in our Gospel today it says, If He finds it, if God finds you, Amen, I say to you, He rejoices. So if you are lost, do not fret. God searches for you with joy.